everyone. Good day. I'm going to create a makeup look again. Um, I just got ready. It's over in the evening. So at some point I might have to turn on my ring light, but right now I think it's okay to use the natural lighting coming from this side, which is so pretty. I was going to wait till tomorrow and create a makeup look and do an outfit of the day for you guys, but I decided to go ahead because it's such a beautiful sunshiny day. At first it started out like cloudy and then it just got really, really beautiful. So I decided, you know what? It's too beautiful on this side right here where my window at. It is so pretty. The, the sunlight is so beautiful. So I decided why not go ahead and um, yeah, create a video. So we're going to do that. So the new product that I'm going to use today, I well, let me say this first. The product that I was going to use today, um, some of the products, they didn't show up today. So guess what? I feel like y'all going to be able to, or I'm going to be able to create another makeup look for you guys. How y'all like that? <laughs> okay. Hold on for a second, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm back. I just didn't want y'all to see the reflection. My mirror is over here on this side. And if somebody moves around, y'all see the reflection or whatnot. And I just didn't want that to be showing. So, yeah. All right, you guys, so let's begin. Once again, I didn't get all of my products, and so I'm going to use the products that I do have, which is these Delancey Multi-Shape um, or Multi-Shade uh, Makeup Sticks. I told y'all about these, and I want to use it today. These are very mattifying. I used this shade right here as my concealer shade. The other day that I talked to y'all and I want to use the other product on my face. I want to use it all over as makeup, foundation, concealer, and contour. Um, so I got this shade in nude. Okay, this is what it looks like. Once again, you've got a brush on this side to blend the makeup product. And then you have the actual product on that side. So it's a makeup stick. And y'all, these are so inexpensive. I love stuff on a bargain on a you know budget okay so here we go the brush on that side and then of course what in the world happened here okay that's the one that i got today it came a little flicked it a little bit so here's the concealer shade and then here is the shade for the summer shade that I will use. But I might use it today, depending on how it looks. But I got three different shades, so that will work for... Why is this upside down? Now, how did that happen? Okay, they messed up on this foundation. The foundation is upside down. Uh, oh, okay, that's the way it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I just had a good conversation. We're going to talk about it just a little bit, okay? So, uh, everything else is stuff that I've already used. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, because that is a foundation stick and it is uh, mattifying, I'm going to go in with the moisturizer. I'm not going to put on everything that I normally put on just because it's over in the evening, but I am going to show y'all an outfit of the day afterwards. But right now, this is the makeup part. So once again, this is going to be long, okay? So if you want to go get you something to drink, something to eat, whatever, go get you something, whatever. Um, so I'm going to use the W7 water, what is it? The Hydro Glow Moisturizer. Y'all already know it. I ain't got to go through it. But I really like that product. And I'm going to put about that much on. Because in a little while, I'll be taking this makeup right back off. I've been loving the fact that I ain't got to put on no makeup. Oh, gosh. It feels so good. Um, I did have a reaction to one of the Baltic products. And I had to take it back. <laughs> I had to send it back and I'm getting another product and I can't wait. It's coming tomorrow and 
y'all the scars and stuff like look at this all this stuff that was on my cheeks it has been removed like a lot of stuff you can get on amazon like i just got this area here uh i don't know look like it it grew a little bit over here on this side for some reason, I don't know why. And then my forehead is clearing up really good. That's where I have the melasma scarring on my forehead and on my cheeks. So I'm trying to clear that up and I'm doing a good job. Because this used to be, this right here used to be all the way over. I would just cover it up with makeup, concealers, whatnot. But you know what? My skin is looking good. Uh, good enough that I feel confident to go out without makeup. Like, I don't always want to put on makeup. Who wants to put on makeup every single day? I know I don't. I've done it and I didn't like it. But I'm straightening out everything and I feel amazing. Just having really nice skincare and really clearing up stuff on my face so when i walk outside i ain't gotta put on no makeup like just go out do what i got to do and come home and wash my face and just be looking cute as ever okay <laughs> without makeup so that is my goal okay so that's all i'm gonna put on is for this moisturizer um, I'm going to spray some of this uh, setting spray when I'm done. The W7 Do Over. I love this stuff. Look how much I got left in this bottle. Thank God I have another bottle here. So uh, that's how much I have in this bottle. So yeah, you guys. Um, I'm excited that that is such a good setting spray. And I got a backup product right here. Okay. So yeah very very nice all right so now i don't do makeup first i always do my eye makeup so i'm gonna go ahead and put on my uh nyx the brow glue on first okay now i might have to put on my ring light because when i look down or look at my mirror it's kind of like it's, it's like looking good in the camera view here with the lighting from the window. But when I look at my mirror here, it's like, ooh, I'm going to need a light. So I might have to turn on my ring light, you guys. So, um, yeah. So just saying, I'm going to have to turn it on because it's a little bit darker over here because I don't have a window on this side and I'm on my new vanity which i absolutely love this thing i'm gonna repurchase another one if 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 something comes through for me i'm gonna get another one because i like this vanity it's like the perfect size in my opinion for me i don't have like i don't i don't think i have a large amount of makeup um so this vanity is gonna work for when i create fashion videos and i like to have one just for that and then one in my you know in the room for putting on makeup on a regular basis and whatnot so i want two of these vanity tables i haven't even showed y'all because i'm just gonna wait and see how everything goes and then i'll let y'all take a look at everything so just prepping these brows, getting them ready for my eyeshadow palette and the powder I'm going to put on it. So there we go. There's the brow glue and everything. And y'all, I love this angle. I do. I love this angle. I didn't like it too much when I did a fashion look. I felt like y'all really couldn't see the skirt, shirt, well, the scarf skirt that i had on i felt like i really couldn't see it as good as i wanted y'all to see it so i'd probably have to change the angle of this camera when i get ready to show my outfit of the day because i don't think that looked good um in that angle i felt like i felt like y'all 
the way the angle was, you really couldn't see the, the dress good. Maybe it's just me, but I, I'm pretty sure y'all agree. Uh, but for makeup, it's, it's fine. All right, y'all. So I'm trying to find, what am I trying to find? My brow brush. There it is. Okay, we got everything. Okay, so now let's go on in with um, concealer to prep my lids, okay? So I use the ELF uh, concealer here. So good. Love this thing. It is just so good. I love it, y'all. And I wish it was just like, I guess you could say not as luminous. But then again, I cut on the ring light. So if you see that light there from that side now or more light, then that's what it is. Um, oh, I just dropped some foundation on my shirt, y'all. Excuse that, okay? It's okay. Um, so I'm going to put some of this on to... My brows is growing really good right now. I'm going to even out my... my lid and get it ready for eyeshadows so how is everybody doing today i hope y'all are having a fantastic wonderful day um i hope it's just as beautiful as it is here oh it's such a beautiful day today I didn't go nowhere today. I was supposed to went somewhere and I was like, I'm just going to wait to Monday. I was like, I don't want to go nowhere today. I think I'm going to wait on my products. And then when I looked, I only got like two items in the mail. Um, so I was like, what? But I'm okay with the two items that I got. I don't know why my chin is itchy. I had to slow down with one of my products that I got because my skin started to be so dry. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to slow down with it. My face is sweaty just a little bit. That might be what is going on. I think I'm just going to have to stop using that facial wash that I use in there. I think I'm going to have to try something else because I noticed that my skin wants to itch sometimes when I go in there and use my face wash um I'll let y'all know because I am going to do a skincare video I told y'all eventually I'm gonna do one not right now I'm gonna wait till I get products that I know it's working really good. So far, I know the products that I am using is working and doing good. But I want to use it for a while before I actually create the video. Because I don't want to tell you to go out and get anything unless I know for sure that I'm getting good results from it. Because like I told y'all, my face is... I, my face is not in tone with my body. And so I'm trying to correct that. It's not real bad, but, you know, it's enough that you can see. And I think a lot, most people are. I mean, I'm 47 years old, okay? So I'm not looking for my skin to look like perfectly, like, you know. But I still want to take care of my skin because, you know, at some point, I'm not going to want to put on any makeup at all. And I'm, I'm at that point right now. Some days I don't want to put on makeup. So just imagine when I'm older, like I'm not going to want to put on no makeup and I want my skin to look its best. I, I really do. Um, so I'm trying to correct all of that and use some good skincare products to even out my skin after what had happened to me um, throughout the years. I'm just trying to correct all of that. But I'm thinking about maybe also, you know, sometimes you have to go and do treatments and then 
go on with your skincare. So I'm thinking about doing a treatment, you guys, and try to remove the melasma off. Just go ahead and let the dermatologist move that off and then go on in and finish using my skincare that I've been using. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but I, I, I think that's what I'm going to do because I just really want to get this melasma looking stuff off of my cheeks, my forehead, and get this stuff off. And that way, all I have to do is just keep using my skincare and keep it, you know, keep my skin taken care of, okay? All right, so the next thing, I think I was going to go for something simple because this is supposed to be a, like makeup for like when I'm going out and all that, like something like really like fast and easy. Like I didn't really get out an eyeshadow palette to use. Yes, I did. I thought I did, but here it is right here. I have this eyeshadow palette, the uh, Couture Com Complex or whatever. What is the name of this? I can't even remember. Complex Couture. I haven't used it in so long. I got this out, but I also have these pencils here. All right, so I have my AF, what is this, AF94 pencils here that I've used so many times. I don't think I'm going to be using these because this is like my easy, fast, quick makeup things. I love eyeshadow pencils when I'm getting ready, getting prepared to get on the bus or whatnot, and I can do something really quick. Just put this into the crease, blend it out, and, you know, done okay so i had got this makeup out thinking i was gonna go off today so i'm gonna use probably this eyeshadow palette or one of these other eyeshadow palettes i guess i use this one i haven't used it in a while or i might just use one of those up there but anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and use my epaulets um eyeliner here okay and what I do with that, y'all know already, this is what I do is I line my lash line. Okay, so I'm not going to tell y'all everything. You see what I'm doing. Uh, when I get to the foundation sticks, then that's when I'm going to talk about that. Because everything else I've already talked about and I don't need to go back over. So we can chit chat a little bit. So you guys, listen, I just had an amazing conversation and it felt so, yeah, you know, it felt so good. It felt so good to say how you feel at certain times. Now, I know some things you just cannot like talk about with anybody. There's some things that you need to just keep as you know, your personal info, whatnot. Um, but some things is good to talk about it because you'll feel better afterwards. Um, yes. So, y'all, let me tell you something. I want to talk about this again. That's my Twitter and the Bible stories that I post on there, some people have told me that they have been loving that. And I decided that that's what my Twitter account going to be about. It's just basically Bible stories and, you know, things about the Lord. That's what I want to post on my Twitter account. Um... And I've noticed that y'all is so many other people that is posting things um, about the Bible. And I'm so, so happy to see those things because it's just time. It's just time, y'all. Evil is trying to take over. And if you love the Lord... Like I do, know the Bible, okay? We need to know the Bible. Um, we really do. And so 
I listen to my favorite Bible stories I have saved. And I love to look at them. I love to hear them. I go to bed listening to uh, Bible stories. And the, the channels quoting the scriptures. Okay. Um, I just been loving that. And... And I've been loving the fact that I've been posting these scriptures or scriptures on my Twitter page. Um, love it. Love it. And I know some people hate it, okay? Some people hate it. But you know what? Do your thing. I'm going to do mine, okay? So, yeah. I'm in a whole new era, in a sense. And I'm in a whole different state of mind. And it feels good. Like when I was talking about today as I was talking, I felt so much better afterwards. It's good to let people know how you feel. And I know people hears me and I know they listen. They 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 love to hear me and listen to me. I'm not nobody special. Okay. Yes, I am. I'm special to God. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, but I don't have a high head or, uh, I don't think I'm better than anybody, you know, Although people love to hear what I got to say, which is kind of like what? Okay. Uh, but that's just what it is, y'all. No, that's how it is. Um, I'm going to do my brows now. I use the Hero Range um, palette. I love this color right here. I love that one. So... I have just been really loving like have you ever felt like you know when things when certain things that go on and you see it and or maybe you have dreamed it before and it happened and then you know oh my god god is with me because I dreamed this dream and then it happened exactly the way everything went. Well, let me tell you what happened. Something happened the other day. I'm not going to get in direct with what it was. And I had dreamed this like when I was 16 years old, you guys. I was 16 when I dreamed this dream. And when it happened, I kind of got a little afraid because I was like, I remember dreaming the dream, and then I w when I woke up, I was sweaty because it was like sort of like a nightmare. And then when it happened, uh, the dream became reality, and I was like, "Oh gosh!" Like. I, I kind of got a little afraid, to be quite honest. I was a little scared because I was like, okay, I dreamed this. I dreamed this before. And it was kind of scary because it was like fast-paced type of thing. And I'm not going to get directly into what I'm talking about exactly, but you get the point that it was experience. And so... When I got back home, 
Um, I was like, okay, I dreamed that and I'm glad everything was fine. Nothing crazy happened. Um, everybody was good and everything. And I was just thanking the Lord. You know, I was like, thank you, God. Like, for real. Like, I'm glad everything is okay. But then later on, there was something that came on the news that was similar to what happened in that situation that I'm talking about that I dreamed about when I was 16. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh my God. Lord, are you seeing something? Like, And then after a few hours of seeing that, then something came up with a similar name as the place where the place of something. I'm trying to tell you without telling you, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so I was like, what? This two times today, like two times something kind of occurred in the same day three things actually and i was like whoa i was like "Ooh, what is this oh i knew exactly what it was but you know it's god but you know i was like "Ooh, like dang i dreamed this a long time ago and just know that it all means something. And so I was thinking about that like a little bit last night. And then I got up, y'all, like late last night, my silly self got up and I decided to mop in here, mop the floor because the floor had got dirty. I don't know how this floor is getting so dirty. I feel like it looks like as if somebody done came in here and tracked it all up, but I cleaned up the floor because I said, I've got to show some more fashion looks and do a fashion video. I need to clean the floor. The floor was looking kind of dirty. Not even kind of dirty. It was looking dirty. Now I said, okay, let me, let me clean this area up. So when I show my outfit of the day, the floor will look cleaner and all that. And I used this product, y'all. I used this product yesterday and I was like, okay, I'm going to use this. This smells so good. And I used this on the floor and I mopped the floor y'all. And I about, I say about 20 minutes after using the product, I laid down cause I got ready to go to bed and I started noticing. I said, damn, I feel a little funny. And I was like, I wasn't feeling like that till I used the product that I mopped with. And so that happened last night, but I'm fine. I'm doing okay. It went, it just went away. And I was like, you know what? I'm throwing that crap away because whatever it is, I don't want to use it ever again. Um... I'm okay, I'm fine, but it was one of those products that I will not use again, okay? Never, ever going to use that product again. It made me feel crazy there for a few seconds. Not really crazy, but like I just didn't feel good. And I was like, why did I feel so bad when I was feeling so good? That's why I was mopping the floor. I just started feeling like really funny like. And I was like, what? I'm going to throw that mess away. Come to find out, 
you know how I was talking about I was having a headache every once in a while, you know. I think I told y'all I've been having like some headaches a little bit. And come to find out, I found I found out that that pertains to, you know, like the thyroid and stuff like that. So I'm just like, I'm still mad about not getting to my appointment Monday. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really disappointed. I really am. So I'm trying to think, y'all, what palette I want to use, okay? It's already 30 minutes, y'all. I don't know what palette I want to use. But I know I want to use one of these palettes here that I got on my desk because these are my favorite palettes. Um, I don't even know what look I want to even go for. Um, I don't know. It's one of those things I'm kind of unprepared. Like, I don't know what palette I want to use. Um, I got so many eyeshadow palettes. I don't even know which one I want to use. Now, that's ridiculous. I think I'm going to use this one here. Have I used this one? I think I might have this one here. I just got like last month, I think, or early this month. I got this palette so pretty. I love how it just shines. I'm going to get that. And I think I want something sort of bold-like again, y'all. I'm not. I'm just not into natural looks. Y'all know me. I don't like natural looks too much. Um, we're going to start on this side. The most wonderful thing is, is that you get this mirror, this two-sided mirror, which is very good for precision i think so i think that's really cool how you get that in the um eyeshadow palette and then you get all your eyeshadows there i think that's really cool all right y'all so let's go ahead and begin so i might look into this mirror and like put my makeup on so anyways you guys i did some mopping in here and i was like you know what i'm gonna have to clean it up because I'm going to do an outfit of the day after this makeup look and then I'm going to upload this makeup look so everybody can see it whoever wants to look at it whoever wants to recreate it you can <laughs> if you want to I mean it's up to you my makeup looks is so a lot of times very very wild but that's okay it's me okay that's me all right it's me so and i love me okay so i don't want to be nobody else i want to be myself so that's that <laughs> so that's that's all i can say but anyways that looks cute i love that color it's like a purplish uh brown shade it's so pretty that is very nice, like, for real. Um, what else can I say? I'm kind of quiet today. I don't know why. I guess because I had a real long conversation in here. Uh, it's just... You know how you wish or you hope that people that do not like you would just go away, like leave you alone. Um, I don't understand how people who don't like people just love to just, you know, try to agitate you and stuff and try to, you know, just go on. Like for real, ain't nobody got time for that. Like don't nobody got time for that. I'm serious. Just go on. I'm minding my business. Just go on and leave me alone. Because I'm not going to stop doing what I love to do, which is fashion. I know it may look like I've stopped. I'm, I haven't, okay? I haven't stopped at all on my Sheila Shemay channel. Fashion is still in progress and still... I still have videos over there, so I haven't posted it yet, but they will be posting very soon. 
we're going to get regular over there. It's getting there. It's in progress. So just hold on. Hang on. Because the videos is in progress. Fashion is my thing uh, over makeup. As you can see here, when I do makeup looks, I'm not, I'm not so into makeup anymore. I just, I'm not into creating makeup looks. But I have to do something in the meantime to chit chat with y'all over here because I love this channel as much as I love my Sheila Sh Shemay channel. Okay, that's. That's my channel too. I love both channels and I don't want to do more on one channel. And I feel like I am right now. I feel like I'm doing a little bit more on this channel than I do on my Sheila Shemay channel. And it used to be vice versa. And so it's going to get all better, y'all. It really is. I'm going to put out some really good fashion y'all stay tuned y'all i looked at some cute clothes okay oh my goodness these clothes were so cute and they're gonna be clothes that like i can wear during the week like really really nice everyday casual Casual cool type of clothes. I call it casual cool. Just everyday clothes. I saw them last night. I was like, oh my gosh, I need those clothes. Let me check my feed here to make sure I don't have like my stuff haven't posted quite yet. Because <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting on my stuff to post. Because I do want to buy some clothes. I'm not going to be able to buy a lot because hopefully everything works out concerning something that I'm not going to talk about right now. But I will let y'all know. Okay? I will let y'all know. Um... But I did see some clothes and I was like, how in the world am I going to get all this that I want? I would be able to get it. I don't know. I might still be able to get it. I don't know. I have to wait and see. Like, am I going to be able to get it, get those clothes? Or will I have to wait another month to get all? I want all of them because it's going to be perfect for so much you guys i don't even want to tell you too much about it um you're gonna see it and we're gonna get back y'all if everything goes good okay if everything goes good then i'll be back to making four videos a week i'm so excited i'm excited for swimwear I saw some amazing swimwear. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. I am so excited. I am pumped up to really. I feel like because I've been through so much, you know, physically, I feel like this swimwear this summer is going to be so good. Because I feel like it gave me some more confidence. Have you ever been through something that maybe, you know, something has happened and maybe you're not perfect and nobody is perfect, but you're not where you used to be, but somehow or another you have great confidence? That's how I feel right now. Like, I'm in a place where I'm going to the doctors about my thyroid and my fibroids. That rhymes. Thyroids, fibroids. And, but yet, I still feel like 
really, really confident. I feel like I feel more confident this year than I did last year and the year before, okay? And I was like to myself, I said, look like I'm more amped up to do these videos this summer and I'm not as fit as I was in the previous years. I said, that's God. <laughs> Only God can make me feel that way, you know, because I've been through so much. Like, why would you feel like most people will say, oh, no, I don't want to do this right now because I'm just not in the best of shape or I just feel like I'm not looking my best or, you know, whatever. But you know what? I feel more confident now that I am like where I'm at because you know what? I feel like it's it has made me so strong. It has made me so strong. I have amazing confidence and it makes me feel good because I have that confidence, you know? Like sometimes going through things can actually help you feel more better about yourself. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Like certain things, I'm not going to say everything you go through that's so like health wise will make you feel better. I'm not saying everything. I'm just talking about my situation, like all the doctor's offices, all the things, all the places I've been, it seems like I've got more confidence since I've been through these things. And yeah, I just feel like, dang girl, like what is going on? I'm not going to use this palette. I forgot. I, was, I told y'all I wasn't going to use that palette. So I'm going to put on this um, color tattoo pigment here on my lid. But yeah, you guys, I mean, for real, like I, I'm just really, really confident and ready to show my swimwear. I am so excited. Swimwear, summer wear. I am ready for the summer. I'm so ready. I'm pumped up, ready for the summer. I'm ready to get out of coats and jackets and all that stuff. I want to put on some swimwear. Yes, that's what I want to do. I'm also excited about wearing more elegant dresses. I've heard so many people. I see your comments asking for more elegant dresses. This is the season for what? For a lot of weddings and also for a lot of parties, get togethers, cookouts, all that stuff. I am very, very excited that y'all want to see more elegant dresses i love elegant dresses as well i love a nice beautiful uh dress um i'm gonna start putting that into my fashion i'm gonna get to that and you're gonna see so much now if everything goes out as planned oh my goodness y'all you're going to see so many nice pieces um, and so many beautiful, beautiful things I'm going to put together. Y'all going to be stunned. Like, y'all going to be absolutely surprised at how beautiful everything's going to be. Because I just, I just know because I'm going to be happier I'm going to have what I've been, I've, I've been striving for. And so it's going to show in the like fashion pieces that I decide to choose. It's really going to show. So yes, I'm just really, really amped up y'all like for real. So I can't wait. I really can't wait. It's going to be so cute. Um, I already got my ideas. Y'all know me with fashion. Oh, my goodness. 
I'm excited. Somebody asked me if I, you know, I don't know if it's legit. I don't take everything seriously over here. I could be missing out on some opportunities, but at the same time, you have to be careful on social media. Somebody asked me if I wanted to model something somewhere, and I was like, this can't be real. I don't think it's real. Not that I don't feel like I could... I couldn't stand in front of a camera and pose. I can. But I'm just saying, I was like, is this for real? Because I've gotten so... It's because the experience I've had with certain people that just won't stop, just won't leave me alone. It's like I get these crazy emails from people that I know that it's right here, okay? Right here. And they send me these crazy emails. So when I get an email that might be potentially a good email, I'm like sort of confused if it's real or fake. Okay. So I'm just like, I'm like, I could be missing out on a great opportunity because so much has happened with people that just constantly sends me emails that don't make no sense. Um, just like I got an email not too long ago. Well, some, not emails, some stuff on my feed that was completely, oh, I love that. That's got glitter on it. I got to use this. Hopefully I don't get this all over the place, but this is so pretty. I didn't even know that had, that was even in the palette but we're gonna put some of this on and hopefully i'm just gonna put a dab of it on not nothing too much but um i just don't you know just cert certain messages i'm just like i don't know like for real i really don't know like, is this real or is this fake? Um, I have people also on my phone that won't leave me alone. Every time I change my phone to another company, y'all, people get on it. And I'm just like, you know what? What in the hell? I'm not even famous. What are you talking about? Just an average person, like, for real. And I'm not even a big YouTuber. I am a very small YouTuber. And so I'm just like, what in the hell is going on here? And just a little bit more. And I'm going to put some, some stuff on there to keep that in place. That is so pretty. I love the shine. Y'all going to see it up close. Y'all can't see it like really, really as good as I can, but it is cute, cute, cute. I'm going to try to blend out or blend the edges of this eyeshadow over here. And I'm going to put some, some of that NYX glue on top of this glitter. So, yeah, y'all, it's just... That's what it is right now. So I'm just like, this needs to stop all this that's going on. I could be missing out on wonderful opportunities. Right, I'm just sort of blending that out a little bit. I don't think I'm blending it as good as I would like for it to blend. That's a beautiful color, though. I like that two-tone there. It is so pretty, the two-tone color there. I can't... Uh, hold on, y'all. Hold on for a minute. All right, y'all. Um, I think some people have come outside. If y'all heard that, some people outside and I went ahead and closed the windows. Um, 
didn't want to hear that in my video, whatnot. So so I'm just adding a little bit more of this shadow and I'm probably going to create another bold eyeshadow look is what it's looking like right now, but that's okay. It all comes together with me. You'll see that it comes together. So that's this palette right here. I'll leave it out though. Talk about it a little bit more here in a minute. Uh, Let's see. What am I going to use now? I'm going to put some of this glue here. The uh, brow glue on top of this glitter here that I got on my eyes. I don't want that to fall into my eyes or anything. Put some of that glue on. Oh. on top of this glitter so they stay in place and not move when you don't have glitter glue just use your brow glue or something like that it works okay so now I'm going to go ahead and line my lower lash line. I got this uh, today. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof. Um, my liner. Now, this is not my favorite. Once again, I could not find my Epilence eyeliner. I was like asking people, where is my liner? Where is my liner? Y'all put my liner in my drawer, and I don't know what happened to it. So I had to get a cheaper alternative until I get a replacement of my Epilence eyeliner. So I'm going to get one very soon. But this one will have to do until I get my Epilence. And I can tell that I'm not going to like this. I think I've already tried this before. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not like Epilence. I love my Epilence products. I like what I was saying. I'm so excited. And I'm excited about some fashion videos that's coming. Very, very excited. Because I know it's going to get so good, y'all. Y'all got to hang on in here. It's going to get good. It's going to get very, very good here in a little while. We're going to get back up to four videos over there. And then I'm probably going to do... I don't know how many over here because this is like fast outfits of the day type of things I do over here. So I feel like we'll probably keep it going. I don't know though. I might have to make this, make videos certain days over here. I don't know how many days. Might be two to three days maybe over here. I don't know. We'll see. But that's pretty good, though. This liner is good. This is not too bad. I thought this was the... I used a liner from Wet n Wild that I didn't like. But this one is not too bad. I actually like this. This is really, really good. It'd be good to use as liner, like, on the lid, you know. This is not bad at all. Like, mm -mm, it's not bad. All right, so now on top of my lash line, I'm going to use the... Makeup Revolution uh, Dip Eyeliner. I put this like right on top of my lashes here, like that. And then right here.
I'm excited. Like, y'all don't know the fashion looks that I'm thinking about. Like, y'all going to be like, girl, what have you done? Like, what what is going on here? That's going to be y'all reaction when y'all see the fashion pieces that I got. That's going to be coming. And, yes, they're going to be budget-friendly pieces for all of us ladies that's on a budget. Like, I am on a budget. You're going to love me for finding these pieces. Very affordable. Fashionable. And I'm just hoping that the quality might be as good as well. I have bought from this company before and the quality can be good for some items. And then some items, the quality may not be as good. But overall, I would say that, you know, it's they have gotten so much better with their quality. So, yeah. Just thought I would say that. And I'm just going to pull this on over from this side and just clean it right over here in the corner. I always do this eye so good, but the other eye, I'm just like, bloop, messes it up. So that looks good. I don't know if I can do the same on this side. Last try. All right, that looks so cute. I think I did good. Cute. Oh no. <laughs> I just got some. You hate me, don't you? Oh my God. No. Sorry. I love me. <laughs> I love me. Okay, let me go ahead and wipe this off, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I can't do a wing liner for anything in the world. That's way too far out, but we're going we're gonna to go with it. We're just going to go with it, okay? I, I mean, I just can't do it, okay? No matter how much I try. I can only do a small wing when it comes down to bigger wings. I think it's just because I have hooded lids and my lids are more swollen than they used to be. And I just, this is what I can do. And that's it. So we're going to deal with this, okay? We're going to go ahead and go with it. All right, so now I'm going to take my mascara. I have my my M2U mascara. Love this. Look at here. I'm getting mascara all over it. Now, I'm sorry. I'm just too. I'm, I'm. I'm just such a good influencer. I'm sorry, but not sorry. But you know, I'm just a good influencer. Okay. I just. 
I have these inexpensive brands and I know how to use them and been doing it since I was 11 years old. I'm just sort of like a pro with these inexpensive products. I know how to use them, make them work, and that's just something I've been doing, okay? So I'm sorry if I'm an influencer, influencer, okay? I'm not going to de-influence anybody, okay? That's me. I'm not going to 